all right y'all we're uh, back for more on the uh, eight hour clearing job guy said he wants eight more so just finished up down the road there come up here gonna jump in this thing and uh track over there to where he wants me to try to get to a certain point and i um, i told him i should it's gonna be bad close to get to what he wants in eight hours uh, so anyway we're gonna jump in this thing and we're gonna go to snatching trees out the ground all right so we're right here at the very back corner of what he wants me to try to get to um see up the road there basically well, you can see kind of where i stopped right there but he kind of wants me to get from there back here so i'm gonna do my best to do that in eight hours but i like i said i think if y'all watched that the production job video whatever there are some bigger trees in there i kind of had to work around so i think maybe i can get through this a little bit quicker it's a little more area to cover but i don't think there's any bigger trees but then again this is all i can see so there's no telling what we're going to run into so i'm going to start right here and just start making my way in i'll have me a pile uh, right here also i gotta make sure i got enough room on the back side to get around it i'm probably gonna have it kind of right here where i'm at but i need to get this stuff set out of the way first just kind of set it right here Uh, don't start this mess. It's got some dirt in it right there. Take it. Stuff. 
work a few hours and see how much we uh, get done today. All right, so I've been at it for, well, not, a, not a, even an hour, I guess close. So I can see what I got done there. Kind of just making me a, a uh, I was going to go in that way. And I was like, no, I'll just I'll just stay kind of excavator width and work my way back to the clearing where I already cleared. That way I can keep it. I know where I'm at anyway. Uh, we are just about to break through to the other side here. It's kind of kind of slowed me down a little bit on this first part, like right here where all these dirt piles are pushed up having to kind of pull that stuff out and see what's in there. Uh, I figure what I'm going to do is just keep making me little wind rows like this right here. And then when I get on the outside of them, I can, I can pick them up from the side and, and track them back there to one pile. pretty good and then I'll do the same thing whenever I make another run down through here. I may just have two piles. I have one at this end and then one at that end. This stuff right here is a little bit aggravating to try to get. I'm not going to sit here and waste a bunch of time picking through all that little stuff because it's about half rotten anyway. I can at least get the mounds knocked down. I'll try to get out the pieces of stump like that because they'll be they'll be hard on a bush hog if that gets hit. getting that other little job finished up and then coming down here I feel like I'm making good time on this so far I'm starting to feel like crap I feel like I'm getting a summer cold or something something's going around right now a lot of people I know are getting sick they must have released a new variant uh, I mean uh, something must be close down in the air Summer colds ain't no fun when it's 115 degrees outside.
sprout out of an old stump there. That stump's way too big for that little tree. shut it down for the day so yeah what all i got done about two and a half hours i guess i think what i'm gonna do is save about an hour to spend on the dozer and fix all this mess right here there's a ton of dirt right here and i just don't want to sit there with the excavator and pick through everything but this is it's pretty bad right here it's gonna look look really bad if i don't Try to do something with it. But anyway, I feel like I've made decent progress so far. Piles are starting to add up. I'm gonna take that one and kind of condense it a little bit more, but I still got a, still got a long way to go that way. I gotta make sure I leave enough room between it. So they can keep it mowed and stuff around them till they get them burnt up. <clears throat> These piles are way bigger than once you stand next to them. Things just look a lot smaller in that machine. But yeah, that's where we got to. This is where I started. So, all right, I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, finish it up. Well, good morning folks I'm back here the next morning getting the machine fueled up i'm gonna i'm gonna get knock this stuff down right here real quick but since i'm right here by it uh throw it over here on this pile and then i'm probably gonna start right here go in another excavator width and then go on down the line there i figure i'll keep me uh three piles between this one that one and then that one on the end i'll try to anyway i may have to make a fourth one uh or maybe five i don't know it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a lot i mean that stuff it's not big but it is thick so let's get this thing fueled up and see what we can get done today all right we're about to get started Just about these little water oaks up and down through here they're rotten at the stumps nearly every one of them down through here is, is broke off at the stump and they're basically rotten at them Yeah, but I don't know if those are uh, sprouts from old stumps. Just about think they are, because that one I dug up yesterday, it was a pretty big stump, with little bitty trees. He said this was logged a long time ago, but these trees ain't near big enough for 30, 40 years worth of growth. that bad when you're sitting in the excavator looking down on it but when you get out and walk around you kind of realize how rough the ground really still is and I just don't like the I don't like 
like the way it's looking. trees through yonder. Like them about this size, they can they break up very easy and mow them down. Turn my thumb speed up the other day, which has helped a lot. I actually thought I was almost maxed out on the gallons per minute flow to it, and then I talked to Sam. He said he had to turn his down, and then I kind of researched what these machines put out. I was like, well, dang, I'm nowhere even, nowhere even close to maxing it out. Machine puts out like 65 gallons per minute, which is crazy. Even since, even though it's a one-pump machine, uh, when I was only running the thumb at like 35 gallons a minute, I think I went up to 40 or 42 or something like that. It's a uh, much better.
grounds again. Come through with a root rake and catch that thing. It'll, it'll want to throw me out. There were several stumps up down through there. I could tell they had been cut, cut off with a chainsaw. That may be where, where those uh, little water oaks are sprouting up from too. Those old stumps, they just come through here and cut with a chainsaw. trucking down through here just grubbing this little stuff out all right so I'm going through now all these little piles I made trying to get on the main piles pretty bad up through here with all these stumps and that's what it was this where this place has been logged before all the uh, old old stumps sprouted back new stuff you would think it'd be just a six eight inch tree standing there and it's really a 20 inch 30 or 20 plus inch stump that don't want to come out of the ground.
It's just not, not as much as I hope to get, but you never know what you're going to get. Somebody once said, This is at the end of the eight hours here. I'll do a I'll do a flyover of it. Um, but I am gonna go get the dozer. Not right now. I will in the morning because it's it is a long way that way and it's a long walk. <clears throat> and I'm tired and hungry. So I didn't make it. I got, I really needed to go about 
mm, probably 40 50 more yards right there but it kind of tapers back so about another two three hours i would have had it all on the ground but what slowed me down was those right along that road right there like that that's a that's basically one right there that tree is sprouted from an old stump and um i kind of wanted to leave that one because it give a little bit of shade right up in here uh but yeah they was they was several of them all up down through there and kind of over in here that just eat up the time you're talking about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to dig that stupid thing it's not digging the stump it's getting the dirt off of it um getting all that cleaned up and oh uh, smooth back out that stuff just eats your time up um but I am going. I am going to get the dozer and fix all this stuff. I wasn't going to sit there and worry with it with an excavator. About a thirty minutes on the dozer, and I can have this knocked down and somewhat rough, rough finished anyway. So we shall be back in the morning to finish up. And he may want me to do more. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got the dozer here. We're going to spend about an hour or so fixing uh, this little eight hour job again uh what i want to try to do is fix this stuff i know you can't tell on camera but like it's really bad it, it'd be really bad if i just left it like this so uh, he'd be calling me back just like he had to do the first go around over there with a dozer to fix all that mess and i don't want to leave him like that so got the root rake back on here and we are just going to blade uh blade through this i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time you know just raking stuff out i'm not worried about you know stuff like that i just want to kind of fill in the holes and knock down the high spots <clears throat> so let's get to raking
I got that raked out. That actually went pretty well until I got up there where all that other big piles of dirt are. And I just pushed it up close to that pile. And then I was going to push it all the way over here. And I was like, no, I'm going to I'm going to pick through it and throw all the, the big stuff up on the fire. And then just rake the dirt out. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. Like these little windrows I made. I'm just going to, I'm going to pick the dirt out. Because it's so dry that the dirt's falling out pretty easily. And then I'll just take and uh, throw them on the piles there, uh, the the uh, little roots and stuff. And then I'll just kind of kick the dirt around. So it shouldn't take me just too long. Um, it's not going to be really that bad. But we are nearly there with this one. <laughs> 